Sir Richard, actually. Lord on heart. It's mm. bad. Well, that confirms your theory. Do you think we can get a cart up through the, uh, through the forest in Sabine? Get it over to the Badlands? Yes, my wood elves and I can guide you through it, the back way in behind the grove. Where you can go round about, basically where Tang dug the escape trench for us out of the grove and where it pops out of, is far beyond. There's a lasting bridge at the very, very end. It's kind of like where I think that your father spoke of, where he took down the, uh, what's his name before he was beheaded. Down in Honestly, that area. how far, how far is this point on the Badlands from the, uh, from the grove? Because if we can just shoot not that too, way, not too far. Rather than <coughs> having a cart run off all the way down here. Unfortunately, you know what? No, that's probably a bad idea, because if he's being chased, then they'll lead them right to the grove, and then it'll be a pretty awkward situation. Well, if they go right into the grove, they'll forget everything, because I'll give safe passage to those I know instantly. And they would forget right. why they were there. So if they run into that cloud, they'll forget wherever they went, and they would just fall backwards and wonder how the hell they got out there. Since what had happened. Since... Since you did the, the thing? Items is, yeah, since I restored the grove. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's now at full power. All I have to do right. is think of you as an ally, and the grove will allow you access to it through the fog, and you will not forget anything. But those who I deem non worthy, they'll forget everything. I don't even think we want to lead them in that. I wonder why the hell they were out there. If we can avoid it. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I do have a war horse now, so you're welcome to use Willow if you want as well. Oh, I've signed myself up for this, I guess. No, um, no, I'm. Well, if Extra's looking for supplies, I can. <sighs> supplies and support, armored men for yeah. one that thing. If he thinks he can get Ladia out. Is it We can make it happen. We have a cart. If you can guide us, I can pick some people. I can do it. <clears throat> I've already... I can, I can disguise myself. I can just take a package, you know. Rise slip through. I've done it before already. He wants to get her out. And he wants to get her onto the cart and then to leave. <clears throat> but, but he needs supplies first. So I need to, we need to have somebody to drop it off at that location. You could definitely do that if you have everything you need for that. We could send you in up ahead. Yeah, then we need healing supplies. Potions. Yeah, I need to make some more. I had some made for the training exercise for when we were going to choose a new sentinel to take Tyr's place. We could use those. They're tier twos. If we can get Ladia back in this, we might stand a chance. Gone. We should. Yeah, gather this place. He said he's doing this tomorrow. Yeah. So he needs the supplies tonight. Does he need them tonight, or does he need them there when he gets out? I would suggest. I would expect him to be gathering them tonight. Going back, getting ready for tomorrow. So when he yeah, does escape, he has everything he needs. Yeah. Rather than getting into a split location. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, if it's just and a bone mending potion, which doesn't really help. If it's just him, 
and her, then that means they would need two, one for each, because that's all they could carry, and a bandage each. Yeah. You so, can do that tonight. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. You, okay. I oh, can give can you, you the can two. You, can you make them? <clears throat> no, I have. Like I said, I have them made. I'll pull it for my personal okay. stock that was for my sentinels. That can be postponed. This could save his father's life if, if this works yes. out. Yes. Um. Also. <sighs> fuck. Fuck. Was Dario on that ship? I don't know. I don't think so. If you think it would help, I was almost done with it. I don't know if you could get to your father or if you'll need it in the coming days, but I was almost done with a stamina potion as well. You've used it before and you've seen what it can do. He's used it before. Hang on to it for now. We already broke through the lines and delivered as what supplies we could. I don't think we'll be able to replicate that, unfortunately. Mr. Okay. Tiberius is outside wondering if you're in. <clears throat> yeah, bring him in. <clears throat> okay. All right, so you drop off the supplies so, tonight, and tomorrow we go and lend aid when we can, I suppose. Yeah. Also, if you go this way, the elves along the way can show you where all the traps are, so if they come chasing after you, they'll hit every trap, because they won't know where they are. As long as you're in the wagons and know where they are, going back that way. If I'm going in the dark, I'll help. be able to see, thankfully. Okay. The Imperials are outside of getting restless. For good reason. Yeah. But they might do something <clears throat> foolish. Like? I don't Maybe know. It necessary. I'm Time gonna to let them... I'm gonna tell, have to talk to Major Daria before I go on this little excursion. Oh, Let them know yeah, what my sure. intentions are. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome. And then, uh, mm. I'll let them know the second <clears throat> we the execute our plan. Just fucking have at that goddamn siege camp. Really, that was the only thing holding them back, and now I'm sure they're gonna be real fucking angry. I'm sure you can listen fine, keeping an eye on the real door. Okay. Just to be sure. Yeah. yeah. That uh, meeting sooner would be better now, all things considered, I think. <clears throat> I don't know if he's busy or not, but we can go and have a look. Who? Consult with the gods, let me know. Mm. Um... <sighs> So is there a plan then? We're gonna we're gonna follow through on that. Hope that yeah, I can give you the potion. Our man on the inside can do it. Hey, Brandon, have a sec. If anybody can, he can. He heard in his letter. He's given up everything. For whether she'll understand or not. Mister Brandon, we have to get her back. Answer my call. On off is good. Yes. But he's not in this. Um, Vezrin wants to try and meet with a man, and Kyla wants to talk to him about what happened uh, this morning. I don't suppose he's around now. Very unlikely, considering what just Vezrin, happened. I need to Understood. Okay. Talk with you Thank you. When you have a chance, some things I need to ask of you in your house. Let's talk. Come and get me when it's time. Yeah, now that I think about it, considering what happened, he's probably very busy. So, probably tomorrow. Right. <clears throat> Man, you tomorrow do... Tomorrow it is then. You do something right and you want to show it to the Lord, and they're just busy. Um... <clears throat> but can I talk alone with you? I'm kind of... I need to discuss something with you. Yeah, I'm going up to the office. Real quick. And then I'll come talk to you about... Hopefully maybe you can help. Sure. Uh, 
Take Thank care. You. you told me long ago to rely upon you when I didn't know when my emotions and logic were clouded. Okay. I never keep things from you that might be pertinent to war, to people's lives, etc. Let me get a DM here real quick. A particular one. Rat row. Uh, DM will be here in a moment, but <clears throat> she's going to hand you a note. This was in a box of iron from Miss Cassidy or Wolfire. The reason why I want you alone is because this could change maybe some things on the war. I'll wait for Maple gets here, but the short end of it is she has joined the robber baron in full to stop. Yeah, Miss Present. The, oh, okay. She just handed him the note from Wolfhard because the only, the only reason why she's done this is because of what Kyler told her long ago. Hard decisions that you cannot, your emotions and your judgment get cloudy. Come to me. Confide in me. So she is. She's upholding her promise. Yeah. You have all this for now. Give me a second. For now, mm. let's maintain security. This is the note you received in your crate, yes? Yes, that is correct. Now, Understood. <clears throat> Kyler, the letter you receive is written in shaky handwriting. But it is familiar to you. You have an eye for these things. You, more than most. <sighs> and writing belongs to Wolvire. And it reads as follows. Dear Venora and Clifford, I know this may be sudden for me to leave like this, but I cannot stand idle as I watch the Imperials and Radons do nothing to help the people of Balerno and of Nautis. I have seen the Imperials hoard supplies that are heavily needed for the people of Nautis, and, and they pose taxes to make it harder for us to even get supplies. Not to mention, they have stolen from the people of Balerno and beaten them, if they even think to stand up against them. Where were the Radads? Hiding in their castle and doing the absolute minimum to help the people of Nautis. I shall no longer stand to the side and watch. I am leaving Nautis to meet with the robber baron, as he is the only one that has shown kindness and helped the people that were in need. Clifford, I am sorry I cannot be there, and I do not want you to follow. She needs you more than ever before. Please give her the biggest hug and hold her very close. Do not bring her into this war. Please promise me you won't. Watch over everyone and make sure to help the people to safety. This war may tear up the city of Nautis. No, I pray that you will be safe upon the conclusion of this war. Venora, you have always been kind and sweet and wanting to help when the Imperials and Radons would not. You, you always wanted to help others, even putting your own life at risk. Please do be safe, as I know you will be helping Soma take care of the injured and saving lives. That is what you wanted to be able to, to do to treat those who are wounded and stop the deaths of the innocent. You have protected those whom you hold dear, and it warms my heart when I see all that you do for the people. I will be gone for a while, but I hope that when the smoke and the dust settles, that we will have peace for years to come, that we will no longer have to live in fear. I hope that I will see you all alive and well. Sincerely, Morgan, the Green Lady. P.S. Take good care of her, sis. Um, 
might be around the shop. <clears throat> you, who's done? Uh, would you mind? Am I allowed to speak to the door? Him slightly? So Marcus, if you yeah. were to go and disturb him for about a moment, Your questions? Where the possessions oh. are. Well, I need just to, I want need you to, to be aware of it. As well, so just wait from anyone. No. Understood. Well, then, Thank you. I haven't now. shown anybody that letter except you. I know me. To do this before it gets dark. <laughs> Show Clifford when he returns. Hello? Very dangerous place. Uh, Marco is looking for both the daggers and something Miss Venora had a. Uh... Ah, yes, okay. Um, the daggers are outside on the table, so you should be able to find them easily. They are finished. Oh, okay. I'm I'm bringing um, the potions down. Okay, thank you. Oh. I think in the coming days, you're, you and your father will want to be privy. To with Venor, no, uh, with Wolvo. So she's bringing down potions. She made her choice. The I know. Okay. I know. But I didn't want you to go in blind. Thanks for knowing. Because for all, for all we, because for all we know, your God's a hope now. A hope she didn't hand in. Apologies for the interruption. Just a quick note for you, Spearmint. Uh, your voice is getting mm -hmm. noise gated. Oh, sorry. Oh, it is. <clears throat> sorry about that. Just need to speak up a bit. One second, I'll fix it. No matter how handsome you are, you're gonna have to get me another job. Really? You know, you asking somebody where they're from? That's like casual conversation. Simon's life as well. Anyways, what I was saying was, I'm just hope, I pray to God that she didn't have a hand. Mm -hmm. What just happened out there? Maybe I will we'll get a drink sometime. And I can tell well, you. if she did, that'd be two That's dumb choices. <laughs> yeah, I know. But like I said, I told you I would come to you. I didn't know what else to do. Nothing else to do right now, Venora. <clears throat> No, no. But nonetheless, you need to be made aware, just mm -hmm. in case you see a lady in green named Morgan on the battlefield. You know who it is. So Marcus, no, the door. Oh, they knock on the door. The door's oh. fucking open. Come on, just come I'll inside. Attempt, I'll attempt to it. Uh, yeah, right that's now, fun. please don't tell anybody that I have her daughter in Grove. Obviously. Yeah, we don't really have a sign that says locked or. Unlocked outside, you know. We, you know, in this place, we used to... Alright, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs and give them potions. Thank you. It was either red or green. And that Hold on her. Mm-hmm. The place was unlocked or not. Oh, that's, that's a pretty handy thing to have. I wonder who thought of that. Yeah, this town... Uh, yeah, I know, right? Uh, this town... Uh, I'm coming, Markos, with your potions. Sorry. Did you say... Markos? Mm. No, I said Markos. Who? Marcus. Okay. Marcus. <laughs> Marcus. 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 So, we think just two of them and two uh, bandages, because that's what they can carry. Person. You don't understand the person, do you? I do. <coughs> Maybe yet. Are you going to? Well, I'm probably, I'm probably leaving now, so. So, Marcus. Okay. Do you think Sir yeah. Extra could use something with that? And he's come for lessons. Oh. It would help, but the report would be a load and I'm in my ear. Give me one moment. Hmm. Oh, sorry, bud. <laughs> uh, Aaron is here for lessons. Okay, you understand him. Uh, armored lad frequents the. Uh, what can I say? The women are attracted. <clears throat> are they? 
Mm, I'm glad so. Mostly. Saying I should change my look, you know, it's, it's not doing it for the ladies. A mechanic. Oh. oh. Every man has a way. You, you weren't around, but, uh, last night when I was on my way home on my war horse, that orc that was had a pit against Tang threw that javelin and hit Lisa off the horse and took her hostage. What? It happened last night. It's over with. Oh my because god. He is that what? Came... Is that why Tang was super pissed off? Yes, he came when I got to the grove and got Tang alerted. He came back with me. We were going to come back here, but the great orc came back to us, stopped us, and said he wanted to parlay, and said, "Meet me An in the orc? morning." Yes, a gray orc, he did. Where is Lisa? So we went... She's safe at the Grove. I gave her a tier 2 antidote and was taking care of her after we saved her. Uh, Galeo and his elves came with us. We They stayed the, hidden. What did the orc want? To battle him to the death. Huh. A duel of oh. strength. He has a monicum of it, pride. Tang one? Tang broke an arm, uh, broke a leg, damaged him heavily. They, he somehow landed in the river and floated off. I, I don't know the gist of it. We got her out. That was the main thing. Good. We got it out, killed as many orcs as we could, <clears throat> and she's back at the grove safe. Usually the kind of thing you lead with but, in a future reference. But, I know, but... He, 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 yeah, yeah, but, d d d yeah, she's okay, you know? And but then... I'm going to tell you one thing, though. Please go and see her as soon as you can. They've... they fed her... human entrails and other things I can't even speak of. They've... That's why I had to give her the ants and poison, because they were feeding her raw... meat... all night... till the morning. Right. Oh, God. Never mind, I don't wanna, I don't wanna understand orcs. Um... Uh, I know. How long would it take you to make that stamina potion? I can go ahead and get it put together, and then... How, it's like, like, is six. it gonna take more than a day, or...? No, it's usually a day. Can you just it's do it day. instant? Yeah, I can, I can do it together, and then, would you say, by the time he gets it, it'll be ready. All and right. the, they'll... Alright, so... I'm gonna give them the stamina potion. I'm just saying she was shooken up pretty bad, and there was nothing we could do, otherwise she would be killed. Yep. So Galel said so kind of, I'm kind of goal-oriented right now, you know. Uh, we give <sighs> Focused. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're good. That, that's, that's a way to do it. Anyways, I'll come gate you, Kyler, if you want to go see her later on. This evening, if you're not busy. Yep. Anyone else need anything? Nope, I, I can leave your abode. <laughs> Last day of lessons? Yes. Come on then. My lord, just one thing. For now, temporarily, I highly recommend you walking around with not one but two guards from here on. The way things are escalating, I fear that the Imperials may start inciting violence soon enough. Especially with the amount of grief many are going through. Let them try. Come on then, if you guys want to come.
sure if we wanted anything. I was, I was going for a better bear, but I don't know if anyone can give me. Never a dull day in Nautus. A man can dream, though. They foolishly believe that this wasn't all the time. Fail, the side you got to be the Imperials right. will be due. Hmm. How could it be the robber baron? Who else would do it? I have some theories. <sighs> Where do you... Miles. There was some way to cripple them. Exactly. Where do you hold your knives normally on your person? Normally I put them on my side, but I'm going to have a part made on the shield. Interesting. That works. We'll uh, practice throwing from the shield then. You'll hold it where the sheath will be, and then you throw it from there. This will should increase your speed at which you can deploy them. Give it a few shots. You're probably going to be a little inaccurate the first couple of rounds, but you get used to it. Since that's mainly how you're going to be throwing things when you're in the heat of the moment. You seem pretty set on it being the Robber Baron's men. <clears throat> because it's the obvious one, or...? Yes, the man's clever. <laughs> clever enough to Lots send... Of people already want to disbelieve it. Because it would either make no sense because they have the diplomat. Why would they do this? Correct. Why what better way to kill an animal than when it does nothing to do to you? Why kill an animal when you have it caged? Because they want them gone. To them, the what Imperials are in null point. Them. They are crippled by having Ladia there. <clears throat> I still have a rolling wooden cage, by the way. In the, uh, storage. Yes, Marcus. <laughs> Very good. It's on the side. <laughs> Thank Very you. Very good. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. How would the robber baron even get his men onto the boat? They managed to get them past the Radard line to kidnap people around here. The Radards, yes. But the Imperial flagship with all of the supplies and an Inquisitor on board? Not entirely sure. But at that point, who else would have done it? <clears throat> the Robber Baron practically will hire anybody to do his bidding. And he will 
trick them or try to manipulate them to do it. <clears throat> Agreed, he is charismatic. But who could get onto a boat like that? Other than someone wearing Imperial armor. Not entirely sure. That'd be for whoever's helping them. Or if it was just them in general. They could have picked up a body off of the field and slapped it on. Went onto the boat. Blew themselves up. It's not that simple to pass through the lines like that. There are checkpoints through any type of military procedure. Signatures, vouchers required to move through and about a ship, especially when you enter a supply depot with black powder. That's something I can't answer. <clears throat> but then comes to the same point. Who else would have done it? Who gains from it? Aside from the Rover Baron. I don't entirely know anybody else against the Imperials right now. Other than the, some of the people around here that just don't like Imperials in general, but I doubt that they're even skilled enough to even get on a boat. What if it's less about getting to the Imperials and more about getting the Imperials back into the war? Because people like... The wolf, Aegon, foolishly believed that it couldn't be possibly that. It couldn't possibly be them. <coughs> Sometimes the more obvious answer is the answer. If you overthink it too much. But it's not obvious because it has glaring flaws in it, is what I'm trying to get at. But then would come the question. Why would they do it if they have the diplomats and already have them out of the fight? It couldn't possibly be them. Exactly. The obvious answer. Never eliminate something just based off of something that could be too obvious. If they had the ability to do this, why not do this before they had Lodio? I suppose all the supplies weren't there then. What? On the ship, all the supplies because they because they had Lodio, they have to move all their supplies back to their ships. That would make sense as to why they did it then. <clears throat> so not only did they cripple the Imperium, but they just crippled the supplies. Correct. That ship was their supply depot. Had everything. suppose you would have your answer now. For how they did it, I could not say. Mm -hmm.
How are you finding them? More comfortable in the hand. <clears throat> to an extent. Definitely better than we first started. You're actually hitting the tree and not the dirt behind it. Or the tree behind it. <laughs> Good throws. <clears throat> Let's give it one more round. And to bring another point. Mm -hmm. The Rodans weren't pushed this far back as before. So that could be another thing. Easier to get through. To be able to do it. Mm. At this point, it's either the Imperials continue to not fight and have a next ship blown up, or they get back in the fight and possibly lose Laudia. <coughs> Both are bad outcomes. Yeah. I'd say you are sufficiently decent with those knives now. You'll be sticking people in no time. Try not to use them as often. Again, they are last ditch. They don't really work against armor, but... Yeah, good distraction, maybe. Precisely. <clears throat> Great job. I suppose let's get you back inside the walls. <laughs> You're right, I don't feel safe out here at all with three heavily armored people. <clears throat> Come on, Marcus. He's thinking very hard. He's gone to Yoga NPC troopers. idle animation. Careful, you might say in his catchphrase over and over again. <laughs> oh boy. Dinner. I'll see you around. Let me know if you need anything else, yeah? You as well. Good lad. Tiberius. Yes. I'm gonna run something by you. <clears throat> I will. I think the two of us will be okay. Marcus, you um, get changed out of your army. You've probably been in it all day. Oh, um, alright.
I'm gonna run something by you. It might sound a little crazy, but I want your opinion. <clears throat> Very well. I've been racking my brains trying to figure this out. This whole ship thing blowing up. I see. Do you have any theories? Hmm. It's not an understatement to say that the Imperials have many enemies. If we look at, well, no offense to the region alone. Populists, from what I've heard, have only said negative things about the Imperials. Granted, they're there to assist, but most don't understand the military defense. <clears throat> It is possible, but the amount of resources this took, if I'm honest, no civilian or peasant would have any hope of achieving this. Agreed. Carry on. If we're talking resources, it had to be a group, well-connected. Okay. Now, I understand your friend said they could have just pulled the bodies off of the uniforms off any bodies. It's not that simple. Mm. No matter what body you come across, the field of battle will be damaged. Armor, uniforms, and scythe has to be fitted to the soldier to be able to pull off any sort of disguise to be able to pull it off. And last, they would have need signatures, permissions, boarding. Either men who came from leave, or part of the scheduling of men turning back. They either had to find a way to gain that information, or steal it, or buy it. Or they had someone who let them in. I think the Imperial did it. What? I think it was the Imperium, or at the very least, the Inquisitor. Why would the Inquisitor kill his own men and <sighs> cripple his own army? That's the one thing I'm hesitant about, but that would get them back in the fight, and they could do it without potentially Losing Ladio. Now, it's one thing to be an aggressor when they have a hostage, but it's another thing to be an aggressor when they've just been basically had a terrorist attack on them. Now, if the higher ups aren't calling for blood, they definitely were. I have other points as well. Eyewitnesses say the Inquisitor jumped ship oh. before it went up, so he knew what was happening. He was prepared for it at the least. Second, and this stays between you and me. I'm sure you're aware, but he and Torty have been um, talking a lot recently. Yes. He sent her a letter this morning, delivered to her. She couldn't read it, but she asked me to read it for her. In that letter, it mentioned that he wasn't going to be around for a while. He would be busy, preoccupied. Now this happens. Mm -hmm. On top of that, I was on the store this morning. They moved us up and down the uh, <clears throat> storage areas. Seemed like they were trying to show off all the things that were in there. The Inquisitor purposefully stayed behind saying he had business to attend to. Made me hand that letter over to Torty. Mm -hmm. It's strange, but you can see why I would consider it, right? That's why they wouldn't need codes, they wouldn't need armor. They wouldn't need to get past the Inquisitor. I mean, fuck, who can get past Inquisitor? If I'm honest, it 
sounds possible, but I've seen how the man is, how he's reacted to his own people being lost. He damn near shot me in the street when Laudia had gone missing. Yeah, that's the only thing that's bugging me about it. <clears throat> and from what I've seen from most Inquisitors, damn to hell they don't mind killing their own when the time is necessary for folly. But a mass amount of death of this scale would need a far greater purpose. It, it, it would make more sense to move maybe the supplies out then first before they acted. But then you'd know if the supplies it, it doesn't make sense. If the supplies weren't there, if they suddenly moved them out, then the ship blew up. It would look suspicious. They needed something that was huge that would give no one questioning thought that if they acted and Laudie got killed, then. It was in response to this huge atrocity, as it would be put. It still would be a stain on the entirety of the um, embassy that is dispatched here. No one would know. It is an entire embarrassment. It would. They, you have to understand. Militarily, this is reported back <clears throat> to the Imperials back on their motherland, and they will respond to this. Exactly. This is a derelict of failure of duty. Who's ever in charge of the operations here, it would be possibly for them to be executed for such a massive loss. That would be Dario. Also, and every officer here is also responsible. The other Inquisitor is supposed <laughs> to show up in the next two or so days. He would have reinforcements. Is he coming with reinforcements? I don't know. I thought know. he was coming alone. <clears throat> well, he wouldn't charter a whole ship to be by himself. He'd at least be bringing supplies or something, so they could recoup their losses somewhat, if that is what's happening. It's... I will not lie to you, it is a bold... <clears throat> ...theory, but... It's not impossible, but for that to happen, in my mind, still the Inquisitor doesn't seem the man to do such a... such a dreadful crime, from the things I've seen. Well, it goes against his character, yes. Unless everything he's been doing has been a mask, a facade. That too is a possibility. Wouldn't put a person Inquisitor to do but... something like this, though. They know if they lose this war, if the Redards lose this war, then they're out. Like, they can't do whatever it is that they want to do here. They lose their foothold. Still, I see the damages in the long run to the Imperium. Of every officer here will be reprimanded in some way and form from this disaster. <clears throat> there will be executions and whenever they return. We'll Always somebody comes see to if that with. happens. We'll see what their response is in the next couple of days. If they decide, fuck it, we're joining the front line again, we have our answer. I don't see that happening, if I'm being honest. You think they're just gonna wait for the next ship to blow up? <laughs> no, I think they're going to tighten down security more. <laughs> and there's gonna be a massive decision to be made. There's even... You have to understand, there's even a possibility of them just leaving. That still doesn't explain the letter from the Inquisitor. He knew something was happening. That's not impossible. Just putting it out there. Obviously this stays between you and I. No. Of course. But your theory does have some merit. <clears throat> the problem is the ones we need to speak to about this were the ones closest to the explosion when it took place. People in the infirmary. Can't really go ahead and do that. Even them, I would have. My guess is those who are in best condition are already being interrogated. I would say Thoroughly. so.
And even then, you would never get your answers. No. <clears throat> Just a theory, I guess. A war theory. No. It is as potential, but... There are holes in it. Or at least uncertainties. Mm. The only question now is how they react to it. Yes. My concern is the general soldier. I was already seeing them begin begin to be aggressive with civilians on the street, those who are a different race. Soon they won't care if you're human or drow or elves. <clears throat> to them, they have more reasons to hate this land than any other now. That's the last thing we need. They're already starting to form groups based on race and such, because the war's been going so bad. The last thing we need is to add fuel to that fire. With this incident, it would be hard to try to convince anyone of something better and different. Morale is probably destroyed. Man, after the fucking good fight we did this morning, and have this pop up. I was really hoping we could have squeezed some... We can try pressing it. <sighs> Let's see where the chips land. We'll move from there. But this is a good theory to have in the back of the mind in case something else pops up that is a little suspicious, right? Yes. That is true. <sighs> anyway, that's all. Hmm. Well, for now, I highly recommend we keep at least one or two guards with you at all times. And if you do plan to leave the city, at least two. I think that's fair. I'm gonna get some food if you wanna come join me. Uh, by your will. I have not eaten. This morning I was scouting out the Sabine forest areas and checking the front line, trying to understand the terrain as best as I can. <sighs> this is day two of not eating for me. Well, let's fix that. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Went to the tavern if you want to come along. Sure. I guess I've been pre-snacking. I mean, yeah, no, like, shockwave thing, exploding powder, as much, as Luckily, many cannons as that thing. I gotten off the second story. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I was on the know. roof. <laughs> I was down in fucking to... pelicans when I was locked oh. in. <laughs> that, well, everybody's here. Why? Yeah, so beep, it's... Boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, <laughs> <laughs> What do you need, Wait, buddy? can you actually do that? Are you trying to place a call? <laughs> no, he's reprogramming me to kill him. Beep, 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 beep. Huh. That's a really interesting... <laughs> Please, just... It Thank so you, I just to work on the sword. Yeah. It's... Let me check my list. Sword. Stang. Episode, yeah, that's done. Um, it should just be hanging up. If you want to go grab it, by all means. Also, 
you should have another 30 iron ore coming in soon. Oh god, okay. That's handy. Ooh, fun. <sighs> Can we get some food, please? I haven't eaten in like two days. Dang, really? Dang you need to... Yeah, you should have... Damn it. I've got the munchies. Okay. Get out. My hands can satisfy. Who wants drinks? You can stay there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, he has to eat. Right, one, two. Oh, my foot. Do you want Dwinky Dwink? I mean, if you're buying, Three, Lord. Four. Dwinky. Your leg. Just water it. I'll just take bring some bottles and cups and just Peter. do it like that, huh? We'll just put like three silver on the table. Whatever that is for everyone, just that, good to see you, that, Sarah. That'll, How are you? that'll come. Right. All right, no and no obviously food. Okay, got there. Mm. Yes, food for the. I'm feeling a bit better today, maybe. Yes. Sure. <laughs> sure. Oh, uh, did you get that meal from yesterday? A fine venison stew. Please savor it. It's probably going to be the last part right. of a while. Yummer. Anyone else the Nestor was really looking forward <laughs> to eating with you. Oh. Oh, you don't know the food? Okay. There was a toilet in the if you would. Oh, shit. Really? Oh. It's all right. Mm -hmm. You okay? What? Yeah. Sorry, it was scary. scary. Who said that? Oh. oh, yeah. It didn't touch oh, down near us. Oh, good. Our uh, power went out. Oh, oh God. No. In a second, Peter, hang on. It's a couple hours. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> as good as I can be. Alright. Mark is a true test. Yeah. Ready? This is a test of your loyalty. Don't fuck uh, this up. Yeah. Ha! There. Yeah, if you this fell is backwards, a... I would have pissed myself. <laughs> Oh my Give God. me a shot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, Torty. <laughs> Test of your loyalty. Alright. Ready? Uh, mm. I see. Uh, I'll. I on the forehead. I was like inches away from just blocking that. that also, is that a true test? Really? You passed it. Thank you. I knew you would. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> Never mind. I feel like he had like half the effort I had to do. I'm just saying. Yeah, but I threw it harder for you. You know, comparison is the thief of joy. Thief. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're literally the, the halfway point mm. between us. It's not a fair loyalty <laughs> test. <laughs> what in this life is fair? Taxes okay, and death. I just want the one thing. <laughs> I know. No. Taxes are not fair. Taxes are not fair. <laughs> what is the mm -hmm. Also, on that, never fair. on that, um, I heard there were um, increase in taxes today. Was everyone handling things okay, like monetary wise? Uh, they cleared I me out. I haven't had that single tax since the Capitano. <sighs> Alright, you go, bum. Well, uh, I still have able to handle it, yes, but I'm now technically operating at a loss, so we so probably favor, can't so do that for too much longer. Okay, well let me know if you need anything and I can help supplement it. I told them I was a lord's man and <clears throat> they didn't they really care. <laughs> Fuck me, of course you did. And they cleared you out. I know. Mm-hmm. Uh, a little bit. I assume you're a man that just likes to drink from the bottle, so... They said, oh, it's for the war effort, and I said, You look like a bottle drink. <laughs> I really am, actually. <laughs> baby man, yeah, baby so man. On the bottles. <laughs> you want the thing over? I don't know how y'all drink so it's much. Please. I can maybe handle one. Okay. Can't drown my demons, but I sure as fuck can outdrink them. So for those of you that don't know, there was an offensive today, and we managed to retake the woodcutters' camp. So that's what this is for. So cheers, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> Our first victory yeah. of many. Cheers to the Well, one celebration. Cheers. Good job, guys. Oh. All right. Jason. One down. Thems. You know, a couple dozen to go. <laughs> no, no, no drinking mead. No well. mead for you. <clears throat> No drunk Good Peter. news is better than no news at this point, so yes. Mm -hmm. no Absolutely. Mm. Also, an Imperial ship blew up, so that's not good. Oh, now I'm sad again. No. 
I have such conflicted feelings. I don't. But you look incredibly muscular today. So, that's good. Are you happy again? Yeah, man. I mean, it's happier than it was 10 minutes ago. Okay, so we're at a net pause. Well, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Good to see you putting yeah, those I'm just <clears throat> persuasion but... skills to use. Very nice. <laughs> no, you have no idea. Speechcraft plus two. I spent all day yesterday up at the keep. Doing politics. Gross. Oh, I can <clears throat> Did you have fun? <laughs> no. Didn't have fun. No. So much fun. <laughs> there she is. The woman <laughs> thing of the hour. Huh? Likes to just kick around the <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? What is that? I don't know. Creature. <laughs> Your asthma? Ow. Oh, oh my god, please stay right there, don't come any closer. Mm. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> I have- <coughs> I have guards now. They will fucking drop her if she gets too close. You have guards? I won't even hesitate. Yeah. Of course she does. I'll do it for some time. Let's get the hammer. That seems a little racist. I already have it. Why? If they're your guards, what like... That? What do you mean, what? I don't know, it's just weird. What do you mean, weird? I mean, that seemed a bit racist. <laughs> There's, You're weird. There's a fucking there's a street in this city called Stabber's <laughs> Alley. Of course I have guards. That's true. Come on. That, that's, I mean, right in front of the Quill and Blade. Street. Very interesting. Very right in front of my blade. Yeah, that's not the street's fault. Verindor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was it? Hmm. No, sorry. She said bearded huh? doll. That's a what? Christmas present. Bearded doll. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is that the trick of the light? I just don't yeah, ask most times when I she probably, says yeah, you're things. You're right, I probably don't want to know. You're right, I don't want to... <laughs> no, you, you don't. just run up to me and you rub my head. I just, you know, you got your own... <clears throat> I'll yeah. throw this cup at you next. I'll please don't hug that, Adam. Listening. You're not the first oh, one to do that. I will. No, please don't. I'll do it. I paid good it's money for that. Mug. I'll throw it. I'm... I'll what throw it. It'll be empty. Oh, I'll throw it perfectly. Home? Oh, so that sweet. The They're branded with, the, with a griffin on the bottom. <laughs> we need a, we need a merchandise, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, I could. You want to see? Okay. Okay. Oh, no. I had a, an amazing idea. Peter style pillows. Peter pillows, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. I need to roll. <laughs> Chat. Wow. Ready to roll. I'll oh, go for it. Chat, ready to roll. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. He's fine. So, as you go to throw the cup, you, you wave it forward, backwards, and forwards, and backwards, but then you hear a loud tang behind you. And you throw the cup, not paying attention, and with a four, it hits right in your bomb in the face. Oh. <laughs> oh. I told you she was going to hit you. <laughs> okay. Ow. Amazing. What? Oh, what? I well sincerely thought she would. We're drinking. Oh, fuck. Oh. I did, Why miss. Did I hit you. It, it went right to you. I Peter? Give I honestly thought Thank she wouldn't you. get anywhere close to me. Do you intend on returning home with us? I'll swing by tomorrow, it's probably Hello, easier. I'm being See guarded right now. I haven't got a drink. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. We're celebrating Unless the victory of the who really the appreciates game. seeing you. Ah, and the victory it was. Hi. <laughs> did you hear what happened? Yes. I did, unfortunately. Oh, who did it? Oh. Everything How are you doing? Next time we tackle him. <sighs> Going as best mm. as I can. Yeah, I'm gonna get every focus. single hand possible to get rid of him. Oh, yeah. oh, oh definitely. Logan. I'm feeling great. Uh, I'm good. There is still a lot of work to do. 
Never have I considered assassinating somebody, but him. Everybody. Absolutely. Yeah. To say the word. Uh, thank you, Garbam. <laughs> of course. Yeah. I will turn his heart into paste. You deserve it. Okay, there, madam. He praised me. A great the Lord. Thanks for all the saves earlier. Of course. Baba wouldn't be heartbroken. I think I'm gonna go take a bit of a break. I'm getting a really bad headache. Okay. Okay. Gonna... I might be back. I might not. Good night, if so. All right. <clears throat> Oh, what's up? Nothing. Uh, one guard down. I'll do something different then. No, Did tell me. I was gonna take Fucker. you somewhere. I'll show you something in a bit after this. <gasps> okay. Then after that, I'll take my break. I'll probably get off for the night after we'll do that. Then. Good idea. I'm gonna bid you all good night. I need to show Sarah Yay! something. Yay! Yay! Lieutenant, good to see you. Mr. Tiberius. Drinks are on me for the next hour or so, Sarah? by the way. So, don't get too wasted. <laughs> you heard that enough. Hi. Job is job. Just, you're good. You guys can uh, stay here. I'll be alright. Are right. you a Norseman? No. I would prefer to just keep it on. Thanks. We'll give you a Why privacy. Why are you so tall? Being right until something happens. Mm, but I don't you know where you are, and I will scream really loud for you. What did you drink? Milk? No, I'm so afraid we can't do that. I need to know. So, is your mom I guess also I did play a part of the custody, or is she like mm. tiny like us? We will keep a distance. Uh, uh, just be I'm nice. not sitting in the world. That's all. She's, I don't like think she's as big as us. Just for now. Oh, Privacy. Bad jeans. Very well. I'll be right back. Don't worry. She's strong, strong. Mm. But yeah. Uh, Come on, Sarah. Mm. You can talk about private stuff. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, have fun doing it. Not hard, hard. Have fun with the private mm. stuff. I'll drink with you soon. <laughs> Very well. Do you know that man? I met him previously. Mm. I think I did some work for him at the mercenaries building. It's the custode's son. He's very handsome, very tall. Oh, you're into tall, are you? No, I'm into a lot of things. Strong being one of them. Oh. <laughs> you sound disappointed. <laughs> so then, uh, why Sanders? That one's complicated. Ah. All right, wait here. I'm gonna get my friend. Mm. Oof, my jaw is really tight today. Oh. 
I was going to show her our uh, little hideout if you wanted to come along. Mm, I would love to. I was actually going to be on my way there anyway. So this just kills two birds with one stone. Of course. Shall we? We shall. Sevatar's angels. Super spies. <laughs> True. True. I'm not an angel, I'm a devil. Sevatar's devils. Sevatar's devils. Yeah. <clears throat> <I like> that <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Because there's already Viper's angels, so we can't have two angel groups. We can have, to have a, an angel group and a devil group. I can be your angle or your devil. True. I could be your angle or your devil. I like this. Is this where you kill me? It's yeah. where we uh, put our. <laughs> so. I love it. Welcome to our little hideout. Isn't it nice? It's very nice. Mm -hmm. I will give you the tour. This is where Casimir sits. He likes to count his coin here and sometimes write poetry. Who? Casimir. Uh, you remember the uh, wagon driver. The Today's uh... flavor is a limerick. Oh. What? There once was a man from Gradia. Who... And it just trails off. Well, he's working on it. A okay. fellow jumped off the high wall and had a most terrible fall. He went back to bed with a bump on his head. That's why you don't jump off a wall. Mm, this is shit. <laughs> this is the storage room. <laughs> I will not have oh, subpar nice. poetry Sweet in my hideout. A, a smoky scent in the air. <laughs> There's a slight... Oh no, that's Basilisk. Hold on. ...due to the small space it exists in, and it almost sounds like the parchment just cried. <laughs> we don't have much here, uh, just a few... What the fuck is this poets. shit? What? You rat. What about them? These are these just shinies. <laughs> they are for different types yeah, of glasses. Your favorite the, cups. No, they have different oh, kinds yeah. of different uses, depending on what you are serving into. Look! <laughs> Basil, as you look at the shiny glasses, one of them has a very clear <laughs> pit reflection of you in it. It's quite nice. The other one mm. is, 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 is shaped a weird way, and when you look at it, your face is upside down. <laughs> Why would you do that? You know how sensitive <laughs> our ears are. Anyway, we don't have much in here. We're slowly starting to build up, but uh, we'll get to that later. Upstairs, if you will. Maybe I won't. You don't want to see the cool stuff upstairs? This is the barracks. If any one of our group needs to stay here, they can do so here. There is even a little kitchen. Wow. You are obviously welcome to stay here whenever you wish, as long as you don't, uh, you know, bring anyone's attention to here. I'm moving in. Sure, you have to Basil, the first be with Casimir though. The kitchen. It doesn't have four different. As long as he doesn't say his poems out loud, I won't mind. He I, he mutters, but I don't think he says them out loud. Hmm. Anyway, if uh, Miss Basil is around, not, there's not enough olive oil. Well, that's. I don't know how to cook. That is up to I you. I'll bring it. Don't okay. worry, I have enough. I'm just saying before you, you know, we are thieves and. I have. Far too much, actually. I four different kinds. I, do I want to ask? No. Okay. I, is it how you squeeze yourself <laughs> into this outfit? Is it olive oil? Well, it's probably I'll be squeezing you myself into another outfit. They look faded, like they were <laughs> old. But they kind of make you think of... And now we wait for her. You've heard of some people who like to track height as they grow. They look like height markers that have faded over time. Maybe from a previous lieutenant. Well, while we wait... Mm. You have something for me. 
I can go ahead and tell you some information that I overheard. I've had this for a bit, but fortunately, I have not been able to give any information until just now, which is nice. Hmm. Go ahead. There's... I heard of a, a woman by the name of Harza. She's um, a, a widow of a Verdad soldier who uh, lost just about everything during the first conflict. Uh, she herself used to work actually at the soup kitchen with Miss Marin, uh, from my understanding. And um, it's a very, very sad thing that happened to her. A bunch of uh, non humans, as it was put down, people who weren't like her, jumped her for extra food, injuring her very badly. She, she lost everything. And then now she's living there, and... It is likely she has strong feelings against a lot of people in town, but a lot of people look up to her, too. Maybe having this information can help maybe, I don't know, squeeze certain information from other people from the soup kitchen, or maybe even get more information about uh, stuff that's going on with the barons on the inside. You think she would be a good asset for us? Maybe. <clears throat> as long as she doesn't find out that I'm an elf and she's a drow, I mean, we might be able to. She's the only one that's uh, talking with her. Bit of a way to, uh, difficult way to juggle, I suppose. <clears throat> yes. But she just seems like a good asset. Somebody that would have information on what's going on on around here for, well, like yesterday, for instance, there was a huge crowd of people that came from the soup kitchen complaining and uh, saying bad things about the barons, uh, the guards not doing what they need to do, all of that stuff. Uh, I think she might have been one of the people in there, but I'm not sure. Hmm. I will uh, make contact with her tomorrow, see if we cannot bring her on board, at least uh, from a distance. That way we can have eyes and ears where we need them to be. Anything to expand the network, of course. Also, I'm going to try to see if I can talk to Baron Kovas. He talked with me earlier today. And maybe I can get a little bit of a foothold in there to see what's going on. That would be very handy. Get more information for you. Do as you wish. Be careful, though. That we is all the information. Oh, of these I covers. will trust me. Yeah. Um, it was nice to talk with him, but I too have heard some terrible rumors about this boy, and uh, it hurts a bit. But I'll have to deal with it. Hmm. Very good, Miss Bezer. Anyway, Sarah, this is the uh, the brains of the operation, if you have not gathered already. We have a few bits and bobs. Our current plan is to try and I make, make a uh, slow income, passive income if we can, investing in things or providing security for people, anything like that. If we can make money, then we can do other things. Can I invest in this? If you are one of us, no? suppose I didn't ask you all right. However much you are willing to put into the coffers. The main thing, however, though, silver. before you put too much in, is we're mainly looking for uh, income over time. We're looking to invest in things that will slowly fill up our coffers. But if you're willing to put down a lump sum, by all means. Five silver then for now. Five silver for now would be fine. That will allow us to um, buy in the equipment we need. I'm... Tomorrow, or the next couple of days, I will be meeting with a potential supplier for us. Someone who can get us pretty much anything we need, apparently. Poisons, iron, health potions, anything of really? that. Really? Possibly. Mm. So if I can lock that down, which will probably require us to uh, do something, as you and I are fighters. 
we need to, uh, I heard, he has an issue with security, some people that might need to be uh, misplaced. If you're on board with that, I'll have to see what he says, though. Of course. Very good. And then once we have connections to this person, we should be able to get the uh, things that we need. And from there, we can, well, sky is the limit, as they say. Well, Sounds I good. let you have a uh, fun, shady time. <laughs> I just wanted to go and deliver my message to you. Thank you, Miss Bezor. <clears throat> a pleasure as always. Ah, uh, you are so very welcome, Iago. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, it is so fun to say your name. So fun. I need to show you the balcony. The balcony. Ways of escape, obviously. We can get onto the rooftops from here if things go bad. And... It's cute. Specifically, if you take note of that blue shirt hanging there on the far wall. If someone needs to talk to us, they will hang up this red shirt and it will turn red. See? Mm. If you see that, and I am not obviously uh. on top of it, do find me and let me know, because this is how our people will signal us to get us for things, okay? What do you think? I like it. Mm. It's subtle. Exactly. Iago, being this close, you would see that Sarah's bottom lip is bruised, and there's a bit of blood coming out of a puncture wound. Is everything okay? What? Mm, busted your lip there, doing something. Uh, I think I bit myself during the explosion. Mm. Hmm. Do be careful. Don't want you falling off any rooftops. Luckily, I got down before the Big <clears throat> Bang, but could have been worse. Well, this is cute. Hmm? I think I might sleep here tonight. Of course. Um, obviously, if a man comes in and he looks, you know... Well... You'll obviously know him when you see him. Uh, that would be Casimir. He pretty much runs this place when I am not around. Um... Poem guy. Poem <laughs> guy, yes. He um, actually went to uh, Ireland for a while there. I see. Traveling circus, he was a uh, gambler. Mm. Well, if you're going to uh, retire now, I will mm. uh, disappear and get my friend. Hmm? Feel free to make any of the beds yours. Bring in whatever you want to make yourself more comfortable. Me, me, oh, me, I will. Caso, I'm gonna put two of the beds together. Classo. That was. I haven't spoken Guardian in ever. Good job. Time. <laughs> of course, you know to find me if you need me. <laughs> hmm? You have a great night, Sarah. Good night. Mm -hmm.
See? Back. Safe. Ah, look who it is. Yes. All right. Now we can chuck ourselves chained up hip to hip. Oh, gods. I no. warn you, mine don't lie, though. <laughs> huh? Oh, gods. <laughs> <laughs> if we're doing that type of play, I wish to be at least be warm with soap, water, and very well scented candles. <laughs> hey, Arka. Hmm. You doing okay? What's wrong? There's a stitched wound on her side. Did what I what happened there? say make sense? Should I proceed or kind of hold on? Other, I would recommend a prize in the a situation if you have not yet. Over your concerns. And as your duty after all in revolving his safety. Moving forward. Hmm. You are whipped. Hit, attacked by. <clears throat> you were out there. The guards? Noses. Wrist. That's tough for me to understand as well. I got nothing. I'm a bit slow. <sighs> Maybe there'll be a triton Gods. that's able to translate. Nobles. Usually it requires teachers. Okay, the nobles. Mm. Talked. Yelled. Spoke. Told. Nobles told. You. No, oh, we can go chat for a second. I can to go out there. Come find him. Mm. Well, to fine. fight. The duties are first. Oh right. Okay. Where were you fighting? What were you fighting? Robert Baron's men. Well, I hope you did a lot more damage to them than they did to you. You didn't? You... You didn't, everyone else did? Imperials came back with a car. From where? Just out of town, so I'm not sure. My guess is maybe picking up more of the dead. Or dropping them off. Mostly. Hmm. And soldiers. Lieutenant? Hail? We have need of you once more. Very well. I will get my horse. Mount up, you two. <gasps> oh. Oi. I will have to borrow your father's horse if that is all right with you, sir. As long as it, you bring it back better condition than you got it, something. I will ensure that. If I'm honest, I'm sorry to say I think the armor was far more polished than your own. Look, Bernard, uh, we need just the... As much as I would like to take you, Tiberius, this is something that needs to be, uh, done by the Mm. I'm hesitant to leave the walls without my guard. This is a very interesting request. Uh, what exactly are we doing? Come. Okay. Really so. We will hold security here, then. I'm more open. Right behind you. Uh, talk to Tiberius first. You're staying. Go on. Alright.
There is a skeleton nearby. Uncomfortably too close to notice. It's a simple job. But we're going to take our cavalry there and make sure none get away. I sorry to miss your bubble, Marcus, but we'll only be taking the Lord here. I am the Lord's knight. I am to be with them on the Lord's orders. Well, this is on the uh, Baron's orders. This is of Lord Edhart, who is currently in the embassy. If you can understand. Yeah, is there a reason we can't have more horses for this? I'm a, I'm a cavalry man, are you sure? <laughs> <clears throat> You'll either uh, tell your men to stand down, or I will have to myself. Interesting. Marcus, stay with uh, Tiberius, if you will. Aye. <clears throat> Keep the household safe. Is this is this wise? <clears throat> we'll see. Right. <clears throat> You'll forget. <clears throat> No. Keep him alive, or I'm coming after you. Very well. <laughs> Anyhow, Lord Edward. The lieutenant the looks one. at this comments with disgust, and then back at you, contemplatively, but he lets it go, and continues to speak. <clears throat> there you go. We'll, uh... Let me begin from the beginning. So, <clears throat> the south camp, too close, awfully too close, do not this. We will take our cavalry here and deal with it. There are only 20 men there. Our scouts report, and they do not know we are coming. We are going to hit them hard and fast. Hmm. We're going to wipe them all out before they can flee. It's it, it, very important that no one flee. <clears throat> I see. Still a little confused as to why <sighs> we're hesitant on bringing my men, but uh, after you. Because the parents want you to lead your men, not yours. I mean, our men, not yours. Very well. Lead the way. All right. Forward, the men. Oh, fuck me. All right. Nope. <laughs> uh. <laughs> There's a fucking pothole. What are the fucking taxpayers' money going to? Not potholes. Fucking, what else is going on? As you ride, as you ride with the soldiers, young Lord Erdart, coming this close, as you take a pause before turning onto the dirt road with the others, you can see that even more smoke comes from the distance from the embassy, and you can hear the hurtling and cracking of trebuchets firing non-stop. It's been almost 48 hours since you saw your father last. You squint. A bit of a pit in your stomach. You can't see it. Nowhere through the deep smoke and haze can you see the flag. But you assume with the hurling of stone and rock 
that it must still stand. He has his job to do, and you have yours. The cavalry that you hand-selected, sitting on their horses aside you, as Wo Slim, the champion and the Kisode son, leads you further into the wood. village directly to the left there's a camp in the bushes you understand I see how close that is the not is 20 scouts lately are right. we're going to roll in there and cut them down before they know what is happening Works for me. Very good. And we will follow you. Lead, my lord. Looking up ahead, you can see the bushes and trees just to the left of Hopper's home. It's clear that there's slight movement in the bush. You are at first uneasy, but you do know that the men with you are the ones that you handpicked, and so far, Will Slim has seemed to be honor-bound. You worry less about the men around you, and more so at making sure not a single one of these scouts escape. This close to notice, they might know how your men are moving, they might know about your cavalry, they could know any number of things. They cannot get away. We'll have a rider or two hang back. Don't go in with the initial attack in case any of them flee. Chase them down. Mm, very well. Everyone ready? Aye. Yes, yes. Yes, my lord. Then let's go get him. Which two should hang back? Let's go. Speed, my lord. They have horses. Ready? You can see them. A handful through the bushes, cooking, eating, talking. God. Not a single cry of alarm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Blood soaks the tent as the first man is cut cleanly through. The sounds of fighting from within the camp now. You see your men expertly riding by and slicing through enemies. Men you trained. Men that follow you. The tents are trampled and you're screaming. hear one man yell and then all of a sudden you see one of the horses taking off one man one man's trying to escape he's gonna go for a throwing knife if he can understood rolling throwing knife with a six it just misses his neck just misses but you're keeping up with him all right maelstrom fuck it Getting down low. See your men flanking to the right and left. Closing ranks to make sure you aren't ambushed. 
as you get closer, you hear the bombardments and fighting as you get closer and closer to the embassy. Screaming and yelling and through the smoke, you see it, the griffin still rides high, piles of orange-clad bodies at the bottom of the wall. And as you continue to ride forward, you are wading through what looks like another push, Ben searing in from the front line on both sides, but they don't even spare you a thought. One of the men behind you, they call for you, and they throw a spear to you. You catch it. Alright, fucker. You throw the spear with initial four. It seems to jangle right off of the back of his crossbow. The metal hitting the metal, but with a 15, when it falls down, it stumbles through the horse's legs. And the man goes tumbling from the horse as the horse eats shit as well. The man... You ride past them in a clean cut, straight across the neck, as he drops to the ground. Get back to notice. We're out of lines. No, we're here. Fall back, man. As you near the embassy again, you see more men crossing the road as the siege continues. The trebuchets firing and stone crashing against stone. But even worse, you see some of the men on the road. They pause and they turn your way. They start running out from some of the rocks nearby looking to grab at you, but your horse is too fast. Perception check, Kyler. With a seven, you're able to just make out a few crossbowmen along the walls, giving a bit of covering fire with the three or four crossbows they have left. <laughs> you and your men expertly weave and dodge through the melee, having stopped that one scout from reaching friendly lines, and start fleeing back towards your own. As you risk a glance over your shoulder, you see that a majority of your men, if not all of them, are with you still. Handpicked indeed. Let's go, keep it tight. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. What's that dealt with? What was that 60 men today, just from our efforts, in total? Not bad, gentlemen. Not bad. You with these men yourself, huh? I did. I think it shows. The horses. You must be proud. The horses around you are splashed with blood, Ooh. but not a single one of your men are wounded or hurt. There's gouges in their armor, tears in their chain, but all in all, their training did the job. <laughs> your men, Lord Erdhart. Easy, easy. <laughs> well, seems you proved me right. Well done, men. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Damn straight, my lord. Come on, men, cheer for him. All right, all right, all right, all right. Go on. Few more. All right. Put your horses away. 
<laughs> it's strange. Night, my lord. There's a strange feeling in your body. Every time that that is said, every time that is cheered. It doesn't feel like it's for someone else anymore. It doesn't feel like it's for a family that you don't have a hand in. They cheer that name because of you. You start to get a greater understanding as to what your father means, being the one to lead from the front, being the one to show that courage and wisdom and honor. These men, while yes, you trusted them, they also entrusted you with their lives, and they did not make a mistake to do so. While your father holds the line, you spread hope. And the Erdhart family name is spreading like wildfire. Great job, buddy. Evening, Summer. Everything all right? Yes, we just did a quick foray, took out a scouting camp. 